Thank you, Lord. Yes, how great thou art. You are great and mighty and powerful. You're amazing. You are the creator of all things and the giver of all things. Jehovah Jireh, our provider. And this morning, as we bring our tithes and offerings, Lord, and as we give it to you, use it for your purpose, your glory, and your plan. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your provision. And thank you that we could give it back to you to use it. And Father... From generation to generation, you are God, who was and is and is to come. You are always there for us, and you are eternal, and, and you always existed. Thank you that you are our God, and we can worship you and love you. Loving Heavenly Father, we worship you as the God who loves people. You have declared in your word that you are patient with people, not wanting anyone to perish. You have provided opportunity for everyone to come to repentance. Thank you for your patience with, that brought us to saving faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. We praise you, Heavenly Father, for demonstrate, demonstrating your love by having the Lord Jesus Christ die for un, ungodly people while we were still sinners, we have sinned, and, and you died for our sins. It's wonderful, wonderful to know that you have loved humanity with such outreaching sacrifice that provides forgiveness and eternal life for all who believe. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, for praying for those who would believe in you. Thank you for the other sheep that you must bring to yourself. We pray with you, dear Saviour, for those other sheep that you must bring. Multitudes are bound by sin and Satan, and we ask forgiveness for us and for others, other believers who have cared so little for those perishing people. We acknowledge that the same sinful culture that binds and blinds the lost has made our hearts cold and apathetic. Please forgive us. Grant us a burden for the lost around us. And we pray for the people of Somerset area, Lord, those who are lost. And we know, Lord, that you care for them. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we tear down the blindness Satan is, is putting upon all the people in Somerset. We pray you will bring these dear ones to the saving faith of our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father, who, who art in heaven for the revival awakenings of history. We praise you for giving revival blessings in various places, even in the recent years. Thank you for opening our eyes to see the need for a revolutionary revival from your omnipotent hand that will glorify you. Startle the world and bring multitudes in saving faith. We ask you to grant us a burden for such a revival. Help us to believe that we can come to our, that it can come to our city. We humbly offer offer ourselves as a, as an intercessor for such an awakening. Lead us to the least one, uh, at least one person, one other person with whom we can pray regularly for its coming. We ask you to raise up revival prayer groups in every city, town, suburb, and rural areas in our nation. We ask you to build a broad base of people nationwide who are expecting revival. Grant to each group a consuming burden for you to bring revival. Make the involvement of people broad enough so that when you sovereignly no, we are ready. You will visit us with your holy presence. Your promise is that as we ask to draw near to you, you will draw near to us. We pray this nearness will truly be revolutionary. Make it humble us, break us, revive us, and change the direction of our disintegrating culture. We desperately need a movement of your mighty grace that will transform the lives of multitudes of people, move our culture back to the absolutes of the Judeo-Christian ethic, grant to us a legal system 
with courts who fear God and establish justice. Invade our penal system with such regeneration and reform that jails will gradually empty until we wonder what to do with the unoccupied buildings. We ask for such a transformation of our educational system that the humanistic, human, hum, humanistic, atheistic trends of our day will be completely reversed. We pray this revival will touch every political leader, every business enterprise, and every person in the mass media and entertainment industry. May revival clean up the music industry. We ask that the 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 poverty that the poverty, drunkenness, drugs, immorality, and violence so common to our inner cities be overwhelmed by the transformed lives of regenerated people who live there. Bring the pornography industry to its knees through the repentance of the producers and consumers. Melt the divorce candle away into nothingness because of the righteous, forgiving, encouraging lives of families made right with you. The need of rev revolutionary, revi revolutionary revival in the churches. Lord Jesus Christ is perhaps the greatest need of all. We invite you to walk among us who are believers and expose our sins as you see them. Grant to your church a thoroughly repentant spirit where jealousy, suspicions, and competitiveness ever parade in the abundance of joy that revival brings. We ask that every denomination and church that honors you and proclaims your word will so overflow with the people that petty differences of dis will disappear and worship that honors you will be established in the land. Enable the people to enjoy their preferences of worship style in the fullness of your spirit. Loving Heavenly Father, we are people we need, with needs far greater than we understand. Come in the fullness of your power, of your Holy Spirit, and minister to them. We open our lives to you. Take every part of us and do with us whatever you need to do that needs to be done. We hold back nothing from you. We believe there is sufficient grace supplied for the person and the work of the Lord Jesus Christ more than we even began to ask. We acknowledge the Holy Spirit is mighty enough to enable, humble a whole world with conviction of sin and the exalting of, the right, of righteousness. We acknowledge, mighty God, that you can quickly bring a world to judgment or to revival. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we plead for revolutionary revival to sweep over us like a fire that cannot be quenched. You've heard our prayer, Lord, and you will answer our prayer, and we bless your holy name. Amen. You are a holy God, a righteous God. Who can be compared to you? Who can imagine, this is a song, who could imagine such greater mercy? What heart could fathom such boundless grace? The God of ages stepped down from glory to wear my sins and bear my shame. The cross has spoken, I am forgiven. The King of Kings calls me his own beautiful Savior. I'm yours forever, Jesus Christ, my living hope. Hallelujah, praise the one who sets me free. Hallelujah, death has lost its grip on me. You have broken every chain. There's salvation in your name. Jesus Christ, my living hope. Thank you. You are our living hope. We put our hope in you. And Father, with that, I'd just like to pray for all the names that is in the box. You know the prayers. And our belief is that you've heard it and you have answered it. Whether it be yes, no, or wait, we accept that. Thank you, Jesus. And we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen.